The Octonauts and the Mimic Octopus. There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema Pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. We can't keep up with them, Captain. Can't Peso give them some medicine for their Vegema pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red Audi? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemal's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The Vegemals are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae. Excuse me, I... Hey, clear off. This here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Ah, and that's where it's still. No trespassing. <gasps> Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel, and they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the vegemals medicine. Ah, why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. <gasps> what is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. You're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? Yeah! Ah! Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend. But I am no bandit, so... <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... 
I, I mean, I, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent. Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. Hiss, hiss, hiss. Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Octonaut and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you were asking for it. Ah! <laughs> okay, so, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to be faster than that, matey! <laughs> huh? Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was he? In here. Ha <laughs> 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 ha! And you'll stay in there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Uh, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh no, the eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back, fast. You've got to get out of there, now. Yeah. Almost got it. Yes, time to skedaddle. Ah, trespasser. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Hey! You! Nice work in there, Peso! Quasi, mission accomplished! We're on our way to pick you up! Yeah. Oh, thanks, Captain! Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time! I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're Sea snakes! Yow! Oh, 
Come on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> she snakes! Yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> 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 <laughs>